Okay, welcome back to this next chapter of Let's Play Clan Quest Mod. Or, uh, Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Clan Quest Mod Edition. I think that's the first time I've actually messed that up. Anyways, uh, last time we left off, we had done uh, BB's quests, and actually I ran over here to my apartment again before we started again because there's some quests we can get here, and we can talk to Heather, and it'll be great. So... Without further ado, let's see what's in the mailbox. Jack shit. Kind of thought there'd be some money, but oh well. Uh, let's see. So now she's wearing something nice because I told her to. Yeah. She's a rather shapely young woman. Oh, it's you. Earlier tonight, you weren't following me, were you? I had this feeling like I was being watched. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'm still a little shook up. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. We won't let her go until we get to Chinatown. Uh, somebody you don't know approaches you, shoot them in the head with a silver bullet and a steak and wear some garlic cloves. If they're after you, yes, I'll do it. <laughs> you just need to learn how to use a gun first. <laughs> uh, do that. I will. I know you will. Uh, I probably need blood. Good. Now come here. I need your blood. I need like two points, but that's okay. Yeah, she's into it. Now you can take a nap. I always thought that's funny in this game. They just have people just like stand there like they just walked out of a rave or something. Anyway, let's look on the computer door. Uh, uh, let's see. Business in Hollywood. From LaCroix. I have a certain financial interest in a restaurant in Hollywood called the Cavalette Cafe. I'm quite certain that's not how you pronounce that word. But I've made an offer on the establishment that is more than generous, but it seems that the owners are remiss to accept. It is my understanding that a renowned food critic called named Tommy Flayton will be writing an article about the restaurant very soon. Please intercept him there and make sure the review is unfavorable. SL. Cool. And another hit from Darnell G. We didn't even think you could pull that last one off. So it's time to think this so it's time to take this to the next level and see just how big your balls are. We want a public execution. Congressman Lewis is getting harder and harder on crime, which is bad for us. Show him what happens to people that don't see things our way. Where it is he's got dinner reservations in Hollywood. The bloodier, the better. Just get out of it alive, and we'll make you rich. Sweet. Uh, let's delete that. So that's the next leg in the uh, Clan Quest Mod Quest for evil folks. So there's a bunch of stuff to do in Hollywood, but before that, we've got one final piece of business here in Santa Monica. And that is... Um, Tracking down this gosh darn serial killer. Keeps on murdering people. Unfavorables mostly, but uh, nonetheless, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. So the card tells us to go to the junkyard, which is where we're headed now. Oh, uh, let's see that. I wanna show you something, you can break this map. If you have celerity, I feel like I'm talking really loud. I need to calm it down. If you have celerity, you can jump up on this thing. Jump over there. Run over this thing. And then hop into the junkyard. Or jump over here and like jump off over that way. Breaks the game. I'm not gonna do that because A, I don't have celerity. And B, this is a let's play, not a let's break the game video. So, here we are in this. Now that's an unofficial patch thing, and God bless them, <laughs> it makes no sense. But there you go, there you have it. Uh, bathroom, just need to take a leak. And over here, some junkyard dogs. Now it's real easy to get yourself killed in this level. Like, that car can fall on you. I should just save because it's really like I just said. This dude just chucks cars like it's going out of business. He's like, what's this? It's a guy up there. Oh, shit, it's a car. 
Yeah, they only had so much time to perfect the physics engine in this game. Unfortunately. So he's like, pushes that over. Like, look at that cheesy shit. And what's with these cars? Like, <laughs> no engine, no interior. thing. That's all part of my master plan. And then sometimes there's stuff back here. I guess that's camera lit edition. There's movie fire. Explosion. The trick here is to come over like that. You don't want to step in fire. It burns. Uh, so now we get to confront this guy. Care to plead your case before... No, I won't. Yeah, alright. Care to plead your case before I sentence you, coward. What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. Um, you better plead your case while you still can. Why? So you can pass judgment on me? Yeah. So you can decide if those murderers deserve to be gutted? You'll never know how it feels. Never! The judgment is already... At... No, wait. Uh, murderers? Just tell me what happened. My family, my children, butchered by small-time criminals, just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan, no ransom. Just kill them because why? Because they were there, in the way? Bummer. Um, everybody gets it sometime. Not one of them paid. My whole family dead, my life gone. I'm supposed to let that happen. Uh, so let's see. I think if your persuasion is high enough, you can get him to, like, chill. Let's see. I sure as hell wouldn't stand for it. I tracked them down, hunted them. Yeah, I know. One by one, caught them all. The one you saw in Hollywood. He was the last of them. Uh, let's see. Uh... Now you got the taste for it, don't you? I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. <laughs> uh, let's see. The, your beast is overtaking you. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? Uh, I rescued I that something. hooker. And I saved a guy at the 7-Eleven, so take that. Um, Newsflash, no one gives a damn. Keep it up and you'll answer for it. I can't turn my back on the evil in this world. Uh, let's see. Look in the mirror, pal. You're not some kind of superhero. I won't answer to anyone and you'll never take me alive, vampire. No one will take from me again. No one! Either we go our separate ways here or one of us dies. Okay, so I got the humanity back because I was nice to him, but if you let him go, I think you get a masquerade breach. So, shut up and die! This is a pretty tough fight, if I remember. Let's see. Can I blood purge him? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah! Can I stealth kill him? No. Knock him into the fire and he dies instantly, but I'm not strong enough for that, I guess. Uh, gotcha. Oh well, he wasn't such a bad guy. Okay, so. So. Okay. Yay, we got an achievement. Private Eye completed the serial killer quest. Ding. It's blood heal. So yeah, I added that to the game. There was no achievements before the Burgermeister. And uh, 
I think it's a nice touch. You don't get many of them until late in the game, and like half of them are just for beating the game for a certain clan, so anyways, let's look what we have. We got the Negotiator, Private Eye. That's it. That thing is so fucking hacked together, though. It's the only way I could do it. I have to, like, find keys that aren't supposed to be there and, like, dynamically generate files on the fly that are red and then, you know, display on the screen. It's a mess, but it was an accomplishment. So, um, cop there. I think I can feed on the cop, actually. Let's see. Uh, officer, uh, there's a serial killer. And oh, no, that guy's going to see me. But no one's going to see him. Hey, uh, sir, have you heard the uh, good news of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior? Yeah. If I could just have a minute of your time. Yum. Tasty. See, he's not into it like Heather is. He just sits there and takes way. it. Uh, yep, we're going to Hollywood. So let's haul our asses back to VV. Get that sweet, sweet uh, reward. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm talking about. That's another thing that got hacked together. Well, I'll, you know, I'm not going to talk about it yet. Shut the fuck up until we actually watch it. Uh, let's see. Back. Uh, my good terms are medium terms. Velvet. Please call me Vivi. <laughs> well, if you insist. About Hatter. Mm hmm. Here's Hatter's screenplay. Oh, I suppose I should just tear it up. But I just. I can't. <laughs> I can't rip up the product of that man's soul. Here. Would you? Tear it up for me. Yeah, easy. Uh, fun fact, in real life, one of my many party tricks is to rip a phone book in half. So, uh, Anyway, I could I could tear that script in half, goddammit. Sure. Thanks. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Found out the name of his source. Are they? I mean, did you? It's taken care of. It must have been difficult. Not really. He but just kind of stood there. Take some comfort in knowing if you hadn't. Someone else would have had to. I do appreciate your help. A lot. How much do you appreciate it? Can't you tell? I simply adore you. You're so sweet to me. The way you protect me. What would I have done had you never come in here? Oh, why can't they all be like you? The world can be so... so beautiful. Here, take this. A reminder of the beautiful girl whose heart you stole. <laughs> Alright, so this is where my bit comes in. I was hoping for something a little more personal, perhaps. Maybe I'll give you your own very private shell. Why don't you do that? I like where this is going. I'm gonna talk over this so YouTube doesn't silence my audio. Because this song is copyrighted. And, uh... I picked this song... Because when when I was making this, I was like, what song is she going to dance to? And then this just randomly came on my playlist like a gift from God, and I knew that that was it. And uh, maybe I won't get banned. Those that don't know, she says, take me. Oh. Oh. Feet on her. Oh. 
Yeah, so if your video on YouTube has copyrighted music in it, sometimes it'll get the audio muted, so I'm, fingers crossed that won't happen in this case. Um, so what else, what else do I have? I got, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go to the, no, let's do the uh, fucking Prince's Quest real, real fast, like. Um, so I have this idea, I don't know if I'll ever actually do it, because, you know, it's a lot of work. But the idea is that, um, you know, you feed on Vivi, and in the fashion of the game, you get blood bonded to her, right? So then at some other point in the game, you're like walking around and she just sort of like shows up as a vision because now she has this sort of emotional domination over you. And, you know, she gets, she gets you to do some nefarious thing on her behalf. Um, I thought that would be an interesting turn event because she presents herself so nicely. So haughty toddy, but really she's got schemes and plans just like everybody else in this game. Anyway, this is the food critic. Mm, more flatbread and olive oil. And take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? I just wanted to... I wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? Uh, just exactly who are you to feel you have so much power? Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, chower hour. Maybe if I reviewed more pancake huts, you'd know me. Hell yeah. Uh, just the man I wanted to talk to. I'm not sure exactly what you mean. Isn't it in your best interest to pan this place? You've got a reputation to keep. How so? Uh, let's see. You'd think I could just dominate him. I've got fucking four dots in it. Jesus. <laughs> um, let's see. I actually forget what the proper thing to say here is. Uh, you're becoming a joke of the food world. You'll give anything a good review. You know, now that you mention it, the New York was a bit cold. And regularly might have been store bought. Also, the decorum's a bit lacking, isn't it? This place is just an overpriced cafeteria. No stars! Yes. <laughs> I'm going to write a review that will destroy this restaurant. Good, good. I'll be leaving now that my work is done. Good night. Alright, there you go, LaCroix. Now you can buy up this fucking real estate or whatever. Okay, so. It's kind of a short episode, but I don't really have enough time to delve into the next chapter of the main quest, so I think I'm just gonna call it a night. So, you know, if you like the video, press like or subscribe, even better. Even better yet, follow me on Twitter. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.